y'all are truly loved truly loved Welcome back, Scorpio. This is your April reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other Scorpio placements that you feel resonates with this message. Go along with the energy. Please remember these are general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. It either resonates or it doesn't. And practice discernment. Always practice discernment when you're receiving these messages. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. Hit that subscribe button. And... Whoever is watching, I ask that you drop a comment, give me a thumbs up, engage with this video so that more people can receive the messages. All right, if you are interested in connecting with me for a personal reading, my details are in the description box. And you can also check out my merchandise and all the links on ways that you can support me and my channel. All right, love, so let's get into your message. I'm going to start with the Iyami Oracle. I've done a, a review video of this deck. You can check that out. I'll post a link somewhere here. And um, yeah, it's such a beautiful deck and the messages are always so spot on. So let's start with this, get a general message and move on to your tarot cards. All right, so we got the herbalist, Osayin. Osayin, the herbalist. Let's see what your message is. I'm still learning these cards, so let's have a look at the guidebook and see. All right, here we go. Osayin. So it says, use plants in your healing journey. Follow the yin feminine root. Okay, so maybe yin herbs, feminine herbs, um, herbal medicine, herbal teas. Um, tinctures, maybe even gardening, working with plants, plant essences, flower essences. All these are different ways that you can work with plants, herbs. Um, let me see. Without leaves, there is no Orisha. That's a Yoruba proverb. So Osayin knows the secrets of plants and knows how to unleash their healing power. So you're being called... Scorpio to work with plant magic. Okay, so you have Egbaru, the helper at the bottom. Um, the maiden, Ajay Fun Fun, the maiden. And Osamare, the rainbow at the heart. All right, let's move on to your tarot message and see what else comes through for you. May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm tonight. Forgot to ring my bell. All right, let's go. All right, love, so you have the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups as your main energies. Three of Cups, Four of Cups. So there is life to be celebrated. There are things coming in surrounding you. You know, life in itself is to be celebrated, right? Um, but there could also be some sort of celebration within April. Although there's goodness, you're still hesitant. You still potentially worried or doubting maybe you don't feel as if you you're allowed to enjoy yourself maybe you feel as if life feels a bit heavy and it's hard for you to enjoy yourself in some way the fact that this four of cups the child is tent is like the child is eating but kind of suspicious of it so pay attention to your diet remember the herbalist is your card maybe part of your healing this month is herbal medicine as i would have said in the beginning of this reading um, just be mindful of what you ingest what you eat what you're processing with your body remember you are what you eat maybe you need to hydrate some more 
work on your digestive system or something along those lines. Part of why you might find it hard to receive goodness or to let yourself enjoy life is because there's something that needs to be healed so that you can see the goodness. Right now, you might only be focused on what you don't have as opposed to what you do have. So, you know, it's just, just a tweak in perspective perspective that can make all the difference you have an ace of swords here at the bottom so there's some truth some clarity some clear clear mind knowing that you have the strength and the stamina part of you having stamina could be again the herbs that you're using this is also about expressing yourself so again herbs that work with healing the throat chakra all of these are things to think about okay you have a king of wands here at the top so your leadership and the six of swords. So it's time to leave, head to greener pastures, look at the, the glasses half full instead of half empty. Perspective, pers perspective, perception. All right, let's look at what's going on with yourself. Okay, well, that was really quick. <laughs> you have the tower. This is a whole lot of cards. The tower, the knight of cups, the eight of cups, and the sun. Tower, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Sun. So again, you're being reminded to enjoy life. Enjoy life. Big changes happening in April, but for me, it's a clearing out, a washing out. This makes me think, yeah, again, about detoxing. I see all this water energy with the Tower and then the Knight of Cups coming in, all happy and joyful. Maybe it's about also drinking less consuming less alcohol or less forms of 707 when i looked over um consuming consuming less items that allow you to disassociate so whether it's alcohol you know weed um shrooms like all of these other things like moderation these are sacred plants it's interesting i mentioned plants as well they're sacred plants they're used they should be used in a sacred way and not abused there is a needing oh i said eight of cups did i say eight of cups six of cups six of cups so the tower the knight of cups six of cups and then the sun so communion with your spirits with your ancestors also with others and it's interesting i mentioned be careful what you consume what you eat see they're eating here in a group so whether that is literally eating, drinking, it could also be just the information that you absorb, that you process, that you ingest on a daily basis. Y'all need to go in the sunshine, all right? There needs to be a lightening of your energy. I want you all to connect to your inner self, your inner child, inner child healing, playing with children, being around children, feeling like a child. All right, washing away, detoxing, releasing, clearing, healing. All right, loves. And I see bananas here. Um, there is a herb called plantain. It's not the actual, like what we eat. There's a herb called plantain, which is good for um, protection, spiritual protection, um, psychic protection. I see these bananas, so it makes me think about that herb. We can look it up. You need to put water for your ancestors, my loves. You need to put offerings for your people. All right, let's see what's going on with your money, business, and career. Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Pentacles, my word, Scorpio, love in it. There is a victory happening here. There's a sense of recognition. Your, there's luck surrounding you. Your pathways are clear. If you've been doing any kind of road opening work, it is working. Opportunities could be flowing in for you. You have a choice. So many different ways that you can go. But you even juggling. Oh, which one should I do today? What should I do? Oh, this or that. Oh, so much, so much, so much happening. Six of Wands. Recognition, victory, spirit, your spirits, your ancestors cheering you on, feeling confident. Something lucky is upon you in April when it comes to your business career and uh, money. 
if you feel as if you got to make a dollar out of 15 cents or taking a bit from this place to put this place so that this could happen so you know you're moving around that's fine the point is that things still happening that you're making things happen and, and you're still here you're still above you your head is still above water and that's what matters it don't matter if you gotta like pull here and pull there because all that's about to change anyways i feel like there's about to be a growth in your money um yeah y'all tired i get it i get it i get it temperance balance loves okay balance here is the queen of want queen of swords under that temperance card some balance some patience some trusting what is she po pointing at burdens queen of swords is like look at you stressed feeling cynical feeling pessimistic it's time to trust a higher a higher cause like trust the angels that surround you okay you are exhausting yourself for no reason. It's time to have fun. It's time to go and have... Wow, and temperance falls out of my hand. It's time to have some fun. This is the ancestor card for me as well. Um, <clears throat> the fool is at the bottom right now. So again, feel lighthearted. Feel excited. Don't feel like, oh, I guess I should do it because find ways to make your tasks feel light and bright. Nine of Pentacles is here with the Fool. So you see y'all harvesting something and your money is about to look balanced here with the Four of Pentacles. So trust that, Scorpio. Also say your prayers. I'm seeing the Eight of Wands. Say your prayers. Here's that Ace of Swords again. Y'all got the strength trust in yourself you've got the strength to keep going and always remember <clears throat> your spiritual team surrounding you if you've been thinking about getting into herbs like maybe working with herbs as in selling that's part of your business um this is the message to go learn research go to class watch videos get online get books find out as much as you want go out in nature and actually look at plants look at pictures compare look at them play you know you know what i'm saying like get your hands stuck in let's look at your relationship section here whether it's romantic friends family however let's see what's going on in this energy Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, two knights. Okay, Scorpio, who are these people? Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. The fastest moving knights as well. Um, are y'all moving for love? Or moving because of love? Or are being called to move in love? For some of you, there are two people coming towards you or y'all have a choice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a rebirth, a regeneration in your love life. Also ask for what you want. But there's this fast moving energy. That This is the thing. Nights come and go. And these nights you might not be able to pin down. Um, airy energy, fiery energy, passion, you know. Fire and air. So maybe it's an engulfing type of connection. Give me one more card for their but okay queen of pentacles another person so is this you is this person younger than you or you are a lot more grounded than they are or this is another person in your connections who are all these people scorpio lord of mercy and the queen falls right on top of the sun let's see what's going on What's going on in their love situation? For some of you, there's a person who embodies all of this energy of the king, of the two knights. You know, like they're very passionate. They're creative. They, they get you like they, they, they're hyping you up. You could do it, Scorpio. You're amazing. Da, 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 da. Um, I'm always here at your side. I always got your back. You know, I'm here to support you in your growth. 
I appreciate all that you are. Like you can do all the work and I got your back. Like whenever you ready, I'm here. Let's see what's going on. Tell me more about their love. All right, so you have a four of wands. <clears throat> Which represents four different energies. <clears throat> um, Obatala, Shango, Oshun, and Yamaya energy. Not that those Orishas are coming through to give y'all a message. I'm just saying this card represents that type of energy. Um, passion, love, nurturing, and peace as well. Peaceful. You got the fool here. Is the fool at the bottom? No, fool here. I like, well, pass opening up when it comes to love. Another card for their love for, for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. I feel when it comes to love, you all need to slow down. I feel like there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot. So whether passion can go either way. Passion can be sweet. Passion can be could be hot and like antagonistic. You know, like your energy can be cleansing or it could be stifling. I feel like you're being asked to root yourself, to focus on you, and to know that you're supported. And if you feel as if right now you need to focus on your money or focus on your sense of stability, like I feel that that energy, whoever these people are or person, they'll be there for you. There is a sense of community as well. I feel like y'all are being asked to work within a community. And it's crazy because I'm just remembering that I'm forever telling y'all to ask for help from others. I don't, I don't plan this. I'm telling you, but, um, there needs to be a calming down, a cooling down. When you feel that things are getting a little bit too hot and hype, hyped in your relationships, whether it's arguments, conflicts, etc., like step back from it. Step back from it. Don't go. Don't push. Push against it. Step back from it. Okay. Give me one more card for their love, because there's a whole lot of energy. Three of Pentacles working with others. There we go. Y'all like y'all are being um. Y'all are truly loved. Truly loved. I said to Taurus that I was going to potentially do some specific love readings for the signs in April. If I do have the energy and I'm guided to do so, I will. And I will look further into this. I'm going to pull a love oracle as well to add to this message to see what else comes through. All right. Let's move on to your word of advice. Let's see. Ooh, strength. It's crazy that that flew up the way it did and the eight of wands is at the bottom right now. Okay, and strength and <laughs> the hermit. So Leo and Virgo energy. The hermit is looking at the strength guard. The strength guard is looking at you. Or the energy on the strength guard. It's a depiction of Shango, actually, interestingly enough. Um going within to look at how you might try to control looking at your how you conflict resolute resolve con conflict looking at how you might get really fired up and really annoyed and irritated remember y'all are water don't drown people <laughs> Cool it down, my loves, all right? The hermit is shining your inner self. The hermit is showing you that patience and sweetness can get you a lot further than trying to force or trying to control or trying to like, you see how, <laughs> don't lock off people neck, as we would say at home. 
Like, don't put people in a chokehold. Don't let people put you in a chokehold either. But there's this internal, there's this looking within. What needs to be released, my loves? What needs to be healed so that you can open up to receive all that is waiting to come in for you? All the support that surrounds you. All the joy. Like, what needs to be washed away? Because what's going on within you that you know needs to be washed away so that you can enjoy the sweetness of life and the communion with others and your spirits and enjoy the sun and feel light within the sun. All right, that's what I'm seeing for y'all's mes messages for April. I do hope they support. Let's look at some oracles. I'm going to start with the love, love section and see what comes through here for y'all. What's going on? I feel like there's some moving. There's some traveling happening as well. People coming in to see you. You're going to see people sitting in the sun. Celebrations. What's the message for Scorpio when it comes to their romantic self or, roma or, or relationship self? Okay, thank you very much. Is it time will tell? Only time will tell. Is a card for you. I feel like I said this. I feel like I said that in Taurus's reading. Only time will tell. All right, so don't try to control it. Just sit with the energy, whatever it is that's going on. Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck is surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Alrighty then. Okay. I'm going to put these cards down now. <laughs> oh, I love it when it all comes together. What is going on for Scorpio? What else do I need to share with Scorpio? I don't know. For some reason, I keep hearing read the message that's now here at the bottom. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, embrace. And there is this coming together in your relationship set, set to her, right? Wow, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. Now, I said wow because in Taurus's reading, there's the sun came out in this set to, set to her and it came out reverse along with the strength card which is leo right right now you have don't let pray get in your way full moon in libra at the bottom of this deck you got leo here so i say that because our sister saying there's always a message it's two sides of the same coin so you can get so much from looking at what's going on with your opposite sign and that would be taurus for you so maybe check Taurus's video because there might be messages in there for you. And I'm just even remembering that the sun is here for y'all as well. All right, you have a personal issue reaches resolution for moon and cancer. Personal issue reaches resolution. The energy is gaining momentum. A time to give rather than take. Virgo's card, full moon, new moon in Virgo. And show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. It's here at the heart. All right, let's get a trust your vibes card and that will be your final message. Vibe check is trying to follow. Vibe check and clear the, clear the path. Vibe check. Try to come out. Clear the path. It's like, I want to be here. I want to be on the table. Clear the path. And let go. Hold on, let's see. What's the final message for? What's the final message for Scorpio? Make a note of it. It's your card. So journaling. 
researching, paying attention to herbs. Like um, if a specific herb keeps coming up all the time, like pay attention. There might be a message in that. Make a note of it. Journaling, dream journaling, uh, free writing, um, just writing in general. If you like to write, if you're a writer, like get into it, get back into your writing, writing in your journals, paying attention to your dreams, paying attention to synchronicities, numbers that keep popping up. All right, you have call on your joy guides. This is the fourth time I think this card, I've done four videos so far and this is the fourth time. Well, this would be the fourth video and the fourth time this card is showing up, call on your joy guides. So the guides, the spirit guides who are responsible for making you feel lighthearted and making you know funny things happen in your life your day-to-day -day, um bringing lightness to you feeling like this let's see at the top is take your time take your time you're in sync and on time affirm this i am in sync and on time always slow and steady wins the race at the heart for you my loves is aura cleanse so I feel like I've come full circle because this was the energy where I started with Aries. First message I did. Here it is for you, Aura Cleanse. This also ties in with the herbalists. So adding herbs to your, your spiritual baths to help cleanse you, to bring in goodness, to protect you and um, remove obstacles and blockages and all that. So Scorpio, that is your message. I pray that these messages support you, elevate you, bring the messages that you need. If you're interested in a personal message, you can and you want to connect with me. My details are down below. Um, give me a thumbs up, like the video, you know, comment. That helps my videos to reach a wider audience. Subscribe if you're new, and thank you for watching. Check out the playlist. Check out what's happened the messages from a year ago two years ago during april april last year april the year before that the messages could be there even five years ago all right my loves so scorpio be well be well be well my loves bye, -bye.